Hey guys, welcome back to Path of Kasumi. Oh wait, let me open the shutter. All right, let me go pour liquid. Shepherd's on hard times now. I made the drink purple and it still comes out blue. Thanks, Bioware. The fuck? Is it, is, I'm thinking like drinking like lava lamps, honestly. <laughs> Saying, I see a couple flaws here. Uh. The red rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single red rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. It's called edgy. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this, so I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. Headphones users are baffled. Why, why did I hear her in both ears all of a sudden? I don't know. That's my favorite piece, painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. Oh, aren't you Robin Hood? Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. KG used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. All right, so it would appear that um, she doesn't actually give me a mission. We just get to talk to her and that's it. All right, well, that's um, uh, something. No messages for you, Commander. Well, let's see. Did it did it maybe spawn the thing at all? All right, we've already seen this, so I'm not gonna. We only really get to see it once. You know, what does she even have? Oh, she gets overload. All right, well, let's fucking bring her along, which means we're not bringing Garrus along. Oh well. I mean, I just wanted someone with overload, shadow strike, cloak, and sneak behind a target to deliver a. a Devastating blow. Well, that's new. Um, but we we want a lot of uh, overload. What's Master Th Master Chief Giver? I don't know. Uh, health, weapon damage, and power recharge time. What's the? It's usually about twelve. 12 okay, so that's probably the best next thing to do. Honestly, that's still good to do. All right, what did you get for weapons? Pistol and machine pistol. All right. Well, we'll have a look at it uh, right now. Um, I don't know how to look at my journal. Stealing memory. Travel to thing. Well, we do kind of want to do this. I don't know if I want to do this right now. I mean, we just got to the fucking Citadel, so... Maybe we should just take care of shit here, you know? I don't know. Yeah, let's just take care of shit here, guys. Uh, we'll, we'll get to it soon. We'll get to it soon. Talk to Morden about the Keeper, sure. Is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3 percent of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot! Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. 
That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, Serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. This recruits is a 20 kilo. Ah, uh, that's it. Feel the weight. Every Keepers. Fascinating creatures. Genetic constructs adapted to work in Citadel. Couldn't survive outside. Unknown purpose. Wish I could have studied them. Had other things to do instead. Alright. Well, time to go through customs. I swear to God, I didn't touch anything. <laughs> Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... dead. I'm getting that everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Who do I talk to about it? Our station commander is just beyond the scanners. Out and to the right. He can reinstate your IDs. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. But you're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs. Then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. They didn't make much effort to confirm my death. I'll make about as much effort to tell them I'm alive. Fair enough. But if you have any friends in the Presidium Tower, they might want to know you're all right. I heard you and Councillor Anderson used to be pretty tight. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up. Of course, they fixed that first. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I need to talk to the Council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. The CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. All right. Well. Oh. Hey, it's the VI. Welcome back, Shepard. 
It has been two years, three months, and 17 days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. Eh, fine. Well, we'll, we'll see what these are. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. Memetic Engineering. Council blames Geth. Lies to cover up Reapers. Keeps public from panicking. I need to talk to the Council. How can I reach the Presidium from here? Public transit shuttles are available on the far side of the CSEC security cordons. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. Sounds like a police state to me. That topic is beyond the scope of my programming. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to Citadel Newsday. Alright, I don't really want to listen to this person. Horizon has become the Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. <laughs> you know, for a bunch of cheap touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. I am sorry you feel that way. There are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price range. So, you're saying I'm poor? Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. What? No, I... Hey, everyone! This store discriminates against the poor! Uh, please, calm down! As an apology, I'll let you have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? Well, alright. But you still hurt my feelings. Please, <laughs> enjoy your shopping experience. Oh, I love that so much. Welcome back! These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs outlets are owned by the Council Government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. It was already worth Thanks it for your time. to come to the, the course, Citadel. Alright, we can have a space hamster. Fish. More fish. Alright, alright. We need, we need some fish. Alright, let's get all the fish. And a fucking space hamster. That sounds good too. Model of Sovereign? Yeah, sure, fuck yeah. Fuck, I'll just buy all of it. Alright. You no longer discriminate against the poor. Alright, well. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. c -Sec won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh... They think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. I agree. Alright, well, I guess we can take our uh, thing somewhere. Uh, Citadel souvenirs. There's some bullshit here. Oh, you know what? I can, I can use a nice coffee, actually. Yeah, fuck the rep transit. Fuck the council. Let's go get ourselves a nice coffee. Hey everyone, this place is great. This is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. High grade provisions. Yeah, I guess we'll just take that. Yeah. Oh, uh, dude, novels. Oh, uh, dude, we can get ebooks for five credits. Okay, I'm not sure what the fuck those are. You heard wrong. What the deal is with those are? Out of the way, uh, Kasumi or whatever the fuck. Dark Star. Oh, edgy. Is there, is there any reason I'm here? Is it a warehouse? Yeah, there's some shit down there. Whatever. Uh, so those are books. Fuck, I, I don't do reading. Alright, we're gonna ignore the galactic news. Ah, oh, hey, it's salesman. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. 
Huh, Volus. That's racist. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Now available on video, the abridged version of Francis Kitt's award-winning production of Hamlet, featuring an all Elcor cast. Nostalgic melancholy. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest. Of most excellent fancy. Deep accusation. Where be your jibes now? Your gambles, your songs, your flashes of merriment that were wont to set the table on a roar. And don't forget to catch Elcor Hamlet Live, an unforgettable 14-hour experience. In sincere endorsement, you have not experienced Shakespeare until you have heard him in the voice of Elcor. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... You have to be rich to afford your own ship. It's great to dream big, but you should aim lower. Yeah, I know. It's just nice to think about. Flying at home by myself. Seeing my parents be proud of me. Huh. Right now I can't even afford to get off the station. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can. <sighs> All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. So where did she say it was? Is that the used ship place? What can I get you? This guy? There's a bolus outside who lost his credit chit. Did you happen to see him drop it anywhere? I don't recall any other Vol clan entering my showroom today. Just that migrant clan girl putting her fingers all over the brochures again. Huh. Well, where is it? I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit chit was gone. Please move along. Hmm. Let's go. Be careful out there. Let me see. Oh, okay. So it's somewhere around here, actually. We, we, we ought to just go to the rest of the places. One of these stores has it. Shipping just warehouse. Just got a refund in exchange, and I was told to pick up a new Omni-Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. 
No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. A warehouse. Hey, that's what the subtitle said. It's a warehouse. Uh... Am I not allowed to talk to anybody? <laughs> Yeah, it's just fucking people. It's a very full store, very silent. All right, never mind then. Okay, why is my shit? Right Shut up, Turian. Uh. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. I bet you don't make many sales. This ward isn't exactly the Presidian. Not a big market for expensive tech here. The Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. That's a noble goal. But maybe if you took off a few percentage points, sales would improve enough to offset the balance. I cannot hold a sale without permission from the district manager. How about for one special customer with a large credit account? Someone like Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel? Oh, you're Shepard. <laughs> I didn't even think I... Well, you must get injured frequently on your missions. I could give you my employee a discount if it would encourage you to make a large purchase. That would certainly encourage me. Please, browse our catalog. Nice. Life support webbing. Oh uh, yeah, we'll take that one. Metagel capacity, yeah, might as well. We can use this. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? Pretty sure they did absolutely no like lip syncing there, so. Same. How do I even get credits in this game? As far as I know, the I only get oh I so get it from the I know how. To get? With confusion, I thought you knew. What? No. All I heard Verana say was pick up a module. There is absolutely no lip syncing in this game when it comes to characters that you're not directly talking to. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard. Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I'm on a very important mission right now. I don't doubt it. The savior of the Citadel would get nothing less. The problem is the damn bureaucrats. They won't get me the latest astrographic data. You can't save the galaxy with star charts from 2183, right? 2183? Why don't they just give you a slide rule and ask you to eyeball it? Exactly. That's why I need a reliable supplier who can sell me updates at wholesale. Wholesale? Of course, Shepard. Anything I can do to bring the fight to the Geth. You've got it. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate, it's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. <laughs> Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. All right, we get tech damage and... Shield upgrade, huh? I will get both. I'll take it. Holy shit, that's most of our money. I <laughs> like our shields go up. <laughs> Fucking wonderful. All right, let's go tell them that um, that everything's fine. You know what are Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. 
The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute! And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? That, that was Paragon? You're gonna run in a former specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. What the hell was that CSEC guy's problem? You had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. <laughs> How was that? I, like, I like pushing them around. But you won't find any better drive. I, I was being such an asshole to, to them. I mean, the guy was doing his job. And and the guy obviously had some uh, misgivings about uh, Quarians, but you know. You never know. Alright, there's one more side to look at, and I think that's all going to be all we have time for, really. I, I kind of wanted to talk to Anderson, though. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll promise to s squeeze that in. We'll see what's on the other side here. So I saw this, so I'm like, yeah. Hey, like, Galactic News will take, literally take hours. I've been even looking at the advertisements because they're fucking hilarious. Game salesman. Oh, shit. When is the when is the new Mass Effect game coming out? Uh, actually, right now. I'd rather talk to this guy. What can I do for you? I do a little hunting myself, you know? That right. What sort of prey can a squishy human take down? Geth, pirates, mercenary scum. What? Where? The Terminus. I'm heading out again soon and I'm looking for sponsors. Huh. I respect anyone who hunts game like that. Sure. I'll give you a discount. Thanks for your help. Not a problem. Bring me back a Geth's head, would you? I'd like to turn one into a desk lamp. Offhand ammo pack. Uh, increases spare ammo capacity. That's pretty good. Ages fest. He's health by 5%, sure. Might as well. I don't know what else I have. Submachine gun done damage, or I'm gonna do a heavy pistol. And I actually don't have any more ammo, uh, any more credits other than this, so. We have to remember to come back down here eventually. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. Oh, fuck nerds. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. That's fucking GameStop. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. Shepard, you've recently been dead. Don't you deserve the quality and distinction of a traditional Asari burial robe? Anata's Mortuary offers the finest quality burial robes, hand spun by skilled Asari artisans. Anata's. Nice. That's what I needed. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Oh boy. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westernland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You punched me when my questions hit too close to home. Do you have a minute? Sorry. Don't remember, don't care. But the people remember you, Shepard. Your bat, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds I've of... I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. <laughs> I knew this was a mistake. You think you can keep treating the press like this and get away with it? Check vid. Did we get it? Nice. <laughs> oh, good times. 
Something's about this game, man. All right, where are we going right now? Dark Star Lounge. That sounds, that sounds like somewhere like an edgy person like me would hang out. Uh. What will it be? You're about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. You want to know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is... it's green. And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dexter of DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Give me another Anything drink, else? bartender. Let's have another one. There you are. Anything else? Not done yet. I'm impressed. I've never seen anyone drink three of these. Let's make it four. Anything else? Hit me again. How about we mix it up? This is genuine Batarian ale. Uncut. Don't ask how I got it. I've been serving here eight years. I've never seen anyone have this and stay on their feet. Anything else? Do it. For you, something special. This is Krogan liquor, Rincon. You'll set off radiological alarms after you drink it. Should I pour you a quad? Oh yeah. Put more of the stuff in the thing where stuff goes in. Your funeral, pal. All better now, guys. This is good, good drinks. Dance? That's it. All right. Or we can pur purchase the brandy now. What will it be? Okay, I guess it's a. Me, thanks. I guess it's a. Let me for that guy. Your mind. Yes. All right, so we got the brandy now. I guess I kind of should end it now, because as I said, we're trying to stick to 30-minute episodes. So. Next time we'll continue on the Citadel. So, All right, take care. Goodbye.